in this video we will discuss a very important topic that is what is the effect of positive voltage series feedback or series uh, sound feedback on input and uh, output impedance and we also discuss what is the effect of negative voltage series feedback or series sound feedback on input impedance and output impedance and before going to discuss about the uh, effect of positive voltage feedback or effect of negative voltage feedback on input and output impedance you must have idea that what is a feedback circuit and there are how many types of feedback circuit feedback circuit usually consists of resistors in feedback you have resistors that means resistors are basically used in feedback circuit and there are four types of feedback circuit the first feedback circuit is your voltage series feedback circuit the second one is your voltage sound feedback circuit the third is your current series feedback circuit and the fourth one is your current sound feedback circuit so these are four types of feedback circuits and uh, we will discuss about these four feedback circuits this is your series feedback uh, series voltage series feedback circuit in this circuit feedback resistor is connected in series to the input so input impedance is increased you see this is your feedback circuit and here you have resistors so these resistors are connected in series in series to the input you see this resistor is con how it is connected in series to the input so feedback resistor is connected uh, here in the in the output this is your output and the feedback resistor is connected in parallel to the output if the uh, output is connected in parallel to the feedback circuit and the input is connected in series to the feedback circuit then this is called voltage series feedback okay and when in a circuit if you have resistors which are connected in series then the impedance will be more that means impedance will increase if the resistance will be connected in series then the effective resistance will be increased similarly if the resistors are connected in parallel the effective resistance here it is called the impedance it will decrease the second connection is your voltage sound feedback in voltage sound feedback you see the output of the amplifier this is the amplifier and the output of the amplifier v output this is connected in parallel and to the input of the amplifier this is also connected in parallel so feedback resistor is connected in parallel both input and output and this is called voltage sound feedback and in general feedback circuit you have a source voltage and you have a output voltage and this is your load and the output voltage from the amplifier again it is fed to the feedback circuit where you have resistors and this output voltage will be the input for the feedback circuit and in the output of this feedback circuit that is v uh, output after feedback written as vf that will be again given to the input so the input voltage will be equal to vi and in positive feedback this feedback voltage will be added and in negative feedback this feedback voltage will be subtracted the third type of Uh, feedback circuit is your current series feedback circuit and here the uh, input which is connected to the the output of the amplifier which is connected to the input of the feedback you see it is connected in series 
and the output of the feedback vf it is also connected in series so feedback register is connected in series both to input and output so it is called current series feedback and in current sound feedback you see the output of the amplifier when it is connected in series to the feedback circuit and the output of the feedback circuit when it is connected in parallel to the input it is called current sound feed, feedback so in feedback register if the feedback register is connected in parallel to the input here it is connected in parallel and uh, the input impedance here it will be decreased and here it will be increased because it is connected in series so you should remember when the registers are connected in uh, series the impedance will be more and when the registers are connected in parallel that means the register which constitute your feedback circuit when it is connected in parallel the impedance will decrease and in question you will be asked to you that in which case the uh, the impedance will be more and in which case the impedance will be less or where the impedance will increase and where the impedance will decrease and uh, in this uh, look to this diagram if the registers are connected in parallel you see here the register is connected in series so the input have more resistance after feedback and here also the output of the feedback is connected in series so here also in both the cases in input as well as in output both input impedance and output impedance will be increased in current series feedback so in all the four cases that is voltage series feedback voltage sound feedback uh, current series feedback and current sound feedback feedback you can uh, it, 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 it is easily you can find out in which case the input impedance and output impedance will be increased or decreased now we will discuss what is the effect of negative uh voltage series feedback or uh, series sound feedback on input impedance and output impedance in negative voltage series feedback the uh, impedance or resistance with feedback generally written as r uh, inf that means uh, impedance after feedback in for impedance and for feedback if so r INF is input impedance with feedback. In some book also it is written Z INF like this or Z dash. So you should um, write uh, you should write the notation and specify it. What this implies? Here I have taken R INF means input impedance with feedback, and R IN means input impedance. without feedback and remember impedance in case of resistor impedance is also called resistance okay that means you may write impedance or resistance here a is the voltage gain without feedback that means voltage gain of the amplifier without feedback and beta is the feedback fraction that is beta is equal to out voltage after feedback divided by voltage um, Uh, before feedback that means the voltage coming from the amplifier that is v output and th this is vf and in negative voltage se series feedback you have the input impedance after feedback is equal to the input impedance uh, into 1 plus a beta i will show you how you can derive this type of uh, relation i will discuss later on and uh, the impedance uh, after feedback output impedance with feedback the output impedance o for output and uh, for impedance you may write r or z so output impedance with feedback r o f is equal to r o that is output impedance without feedback divided by 1 plus a beta this is a simple relation i'll show you how you will derive it so from this equation you can easily found out that um, 
the input impedance with feedback will be equal to will be the input impedance will increase in negative feedback okay in ne negative feedback if it is a voltage series feedback the input impedance increases by a factor how much r input plus r input a into beta this term r input a into beta times increases and how the output impedance will decrease the output impedance will be equal to r0 that is output impedance divided by 1 plus a beta this uh, times that will decrease so in case of negative voltage series feedback or series sound feedback the input impedance increases and the output impedance decreases and question will come what is the effect of positive voltage series feedback or series sound feedback in output impedance and input impedance for positive voltage series feedback you have r um, r inf i have told you inf means the impedance input impedance with feedback so input impedance with feedback or resistance with feedback is equal to uh, without feedback resistance without feedback or impedance without feedback into 1 minus a beta so from this equation you can uh, tell that the input impedance decreases in positive voltage feedback series feedback the input impedance decreases and rof that is the output impedance with feedback that is equal to r0 divided by 1 minus a beta so the output impedance increases in positive voltage series feedback what will happen the input impedance decreases and the output impedance increases because you when you take the difference of a beta from 1 from 1 that this will be a fraction that is why the output impedance will will be more now i will show you the mathematics how you can find out the relation between the input impedance and output impedance after feedback as i have told you the a is the voltage gain without feedback and that is equal to output voltage divided by the input voltage. So, what will be the output voltage? Output voltage will be equal to A into VI. Similarly, for feedback circuit, you have feedback fraction beta is equal to output voltage by input voltage. Here, input voltage is VO. That means the voltage coming from the amplifier. Uh, so, VF divided by VO. So, VF will be equal to beta into V0. Suppose this is equation number 2 and this is equation number 1. So, if you substitute output voltage here, then what will be Vf? A into beta into Vi. Okay. Then I will derive the relations. It is very simple to derive the relation. I am deriving for the negative feedback and you try for the positive feedback. If you will have problem, then you write to me in the comment section. Okay, the, in the negative feedback, for the negative feedback, I have told you what will be the input voltage, source voltage minus the feedback voltage, VI equal to source voltage minus the feedback voltage. So, source voltage will be equal to VI plus VF and that will be equal to VI plus VF is equal to how much? A beta into VI. So, A beta into VI. So, if you take VI common, that will be equal to 1 plus A beta. And remember, for series, um, I have, I have uh, calculated the input impedance for the negative voltage series feedback. Since the input in series, the current will be same. That is, the input current will be equal to the source current. So, what will be? You divide here IS and here also IS, that is I. Uh, current input current and here is is equal to the source current if you divide here this will be equal to vs divided by is 
दैट विल बी इक्वल टू वी आई डिवाइड बाय आई आई दैट मीन्स इनपुट करेंट हियर एंड वन प्लस ए बिट्टा सो व्हाट विल बी सोर्स वोल्टेज बाय द सोर्स करेंट दैट इज द इनपुट इम्पोर्टेंस आफ्टर फीडबैक एंड दिस विल बी इक्वल टू वी आई डिवाइड बाय आई आई दैट इज इक्वल टू द इम्पोर्ट रेजिस्टेंस दैट मीन्स विदाउट फीडबैक दिस इज विदाउट फीडबैक एंड दिस इज विथ फीडबैक सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू आर इनपुट इम्पोर्टेंस विथ फीडबैक इज इक्वल टू इनपुट इम्पोर्टेंस विदाउट फीडबैक इन टू वन प्लस ए बीट सो दिस इज वेरी सिंपल मैथमेटिक्स टू शो द रिलेशन बिटवीन द इम्पोर्टेंस बिफोर आफ्टर फीडबैक दैट विल बी इक्वल टू द द इम्पोर्टेंस बिफोर फीडबैक इन टू वन प्लस ए बीट सिमिलरली यू कैन कैलकुलेट फॉर द आउटपुट इम्पोर्टेंस and for positive feedback you write the input voltage is equal to source voltage plus the feedback voltage so that source voltage will be equal to the input voltage minus the feedback voltage so vi minus uh, i have told you vf is equal to a beta into vi so this will be equal to vi into 1 minus a beta so in the impedance you have a term 1 minus a beta so for positive uh, voltage series feedback it is easy to find out these relations so in summary you should uh, remember that feedback circuit usually consists of resistors and there are four types of negative feedback circuits or four types of positive feedback circuits and uh, how the impedance the input impedance and input output impedance varies in the feedback circuit basically you should remember the voltage series feedback circuit and this circuit is asked to you in the examination thank you